All right, so in this video, we're gonna to put together our little uh, penguin wine bottle wrapper and gift tag. Um, penguin, Ron and I kind of discussed this. He, he's a little, um, he's, had a, he's had a couple glasses of wine, I think. Um, and that explains the googly eyes. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna do a little bit of pre-assembly here. Um, this is the little gift tag. It's just two pieces. I've got white AC cardstock with a little bit of gold glitter to, um, well, it resembles the actual wine in the glass. So I'm just going to put a little bit of glue on the back of, this is a, uh, just a red <laughs> glitter. You can see the little, um, oval at the bottom of this. That's gonna match up with this little oval at the bottom of the base piece here. So we're gonna glue that down, just making sure that it's nice in a line there at the bottom. We're gonna put a little bit of gold string through the little hole, wrap it around the little bow that I'm gonna show you how to put together here. And there's uh, just enough room here to put to in the name and then from at the bottom. Okay, so that's that. Now, um, there's a little bit of inking that we want to do on this piece here. We're going to take his orange parts, his little beak and his feet, and we're going to ink that with a little orange color just to kind of give it a little bit of interest. I've got my go-to little ink pad here. Um, this is the, um, what is that called again? Actually, I'm going to get a, a little richer of a orange color here. Let me find my inks. It's the uh, ink applicator by Ranger or Tim Holtz. And let me pull out my inks here. And whoops, that wasn't supposed to happen. Let's see what we have here as far as orange goes. Now it always helps to kind of try this on a scrap piece of paper just to see what kind of color you get. That looks good to me. I did it on the back side of this thing before I actually apply it to the forward front facing side. So I'm just going to ink the edge of this. I'm just nicely and easily and gently grazing the corners or the edges, I should say, of the cardstock. And in the process, barely grazing the top surface of that paper. So you can see it kind of gives it a cool little, cool little tone there. Let me move that out of the way and move on to his little feet here. And I'm gonna add a little more ink to this. And inking is a very individual thing. If you want to do it like I do it, just like I said, I'm, I'm not really applying a lot of pressure. I'm just kind of letting the ink pad do the work here. Uh, I'm barely, barely pressing down with my finger. I just, it's just there. I'm not really pushing down at all. I'm just kind of grazing the surface here. You may want to make this a little more rich, more, more defined. I personally, like it when things are subtle and that's just my individual taste so i don't know why this thing keeps flipping upside down on me there we go all right so after this i'm going to take my take my little penguin's body and i'm going to ink the white glitter portion with some turquoise and that always gives it a nice little snowy feel He's like a little frosty little penguin. And this is a cute little thing to bring to New Year's or maybe a, a winter birthday party or just a little get together. You wanna to bring a little hostess gift, bring a bottle of wine, some champagne, whatever you wanna bring and make it cute, especially if it's a, uh, uh, a pretty laid back crowd that enjoys having a cocktail or two, that'll be perfect. Now I'm just cutting off the little part that I use so that I don't get my fingers dirty. I'm gonna reuse this piece for when I ink this part here. And you can see I got my googly, guys out, googly eyes out 
Here is my turquoise. I'll get that ready and just get that dabbed. Now this is, uh, it's glitter. And I've noticed that certain types of glitter, this, this, this is actually not a very um, textured glitter. So this is not going to pull off as much of the cotton on here. So that works nicely. There's some of that glitter paper just has really sharp pieces of glitter that pull off more of this, um, more of the cotton on this applicator. And sometimes that does get a little annoying because it loses its effect, but usually I just kind of trim it a little bit and just carry on. And I'm going in a little bit deeper this time than I usually do because I've noticed in the past when I ink this glitter with turquoise that sometimes kind of gets lost in there. So I want to make this a little more defined. So I am kind of grazing the surface more than I did with the feet. Okay. So just do your best. You don't even have to do this, but it does kind of add another layer of dimension to your project and it makes it look more interesting. So if you have time, Definitely take your time, have fun. This is probably the most zen part of this process for me. It's kind of like I'm painting a little bit. I really enjoy this part. So definitely spend extra time on the parts that you enjoy most. Okay, here we go. That looks good. All right, so we can go ahead and assemble our little penguin here and it's pretty straightforward. We've got, we've got it all laid out for you nicely. That's the base of the penguin. Let's just put together some of the various pieces first so that we can just kind of piece them together once we're done. We've got this little piece of his scarf and then this red glitter part is gonna go right on top. You can see where it matches up. Okay, so we're just gonna flip that over. And I am, since this is a small piece, I'm just gonna go ahead and do little dots so that I don't risk it slipping out of my hand. Okay, just line up the bottom and then the top should just kind of fall into place. Okay, now I cut this with my Cricut Explore Air 2 uh, on the glitter. I set it to custom and I actually set it to the chipboard option um, the 0.7 millimeter option. And I think it does a triple cut, but that made sure that when I peeled the, when I peeled the paper off, it left the design nice and intact and beautifully cut. Okay. So that's that part of the scarf. Let's do the other part of the scarf here. So same thing, just going to flip this around and oops. I think this bottle of glue has been sitting out without a cap on it for a few days here. And surprisingly, I haven't had to clean it. And maybe it's because it's been so bitter cold in Chicago. Same with this piece here. Just line up the bottom first. That will help you get the rest of it in place. And it kind of just falls into place. You just see how it lines up. There we go, just like that. Just kind of give it a little, a little squeeze, get it in place. If you have a little bit of green showing through here, not the end of the world, totally fine. Okay, so that's ready. Um, we're ready to piece our little penguin together. Uh, first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna take his, the, the main glitter part of his body. And here is our nice little penguin. You'll notice on here, we have a little U-shape cutout right about there. You can see it there. And then there's two little cutouts here. This U-shape is gonna tell us where this little valley goes. That goes right there. And then these two little cutouts are the little valleys for this side here, for these two sides. So that just kind of helps you with alignment so that you get it nice and centered so that despite the fact that your penguin has had a couple drinks, He's not going to look like he's deformed, I guess. I don't know. OK, 
Okay, so just kind of place that accordingly using those little guides, push down and let that hold. It looks cute. The inking definitely makes it cute. <clears throat> okay, and we're gonna put his mouth on next. And I feel like I'm missing a piece here of the mouth. I hope that it turned, there it is. Okay, let's get his mouth on and we'll get his feet on. Then we'll put his cute little scarf on. Okay, so I'm just putting glue on his mouth or his beak, whatever you wanna call it, his bill. Okay, and then with this piece, I just wanna go ahead and line it up with the little existing holes there on the white layer and just push that down. You can see how the inking really kind of makes this stand out more and gives it a little bit of dimension. I really like that. Okay, and then let's get his feet in place. And there's glitter, glitter everywhere. Okay. And just line that up. And just kind of scooch it around a little bit. There we go. Get that nice and aligned. There we go. And the next foot. This is a fun little project to work on after the holidays when you're not in a rush. You know that you're going to go somewhere and have a good time and there's going to be a bottle of wine and you're going to present it. It'll be a nice little conversation starter. You can um, talk about your cricket and all the cool things you made and all the handmade stuff you made. Okay. All right. Now let's get his let's get his little smile on there. So we're going to flip this around and I'm just going to put little dots of glue. I'm going to spread that out a little bit. That was a little too much. Get it out to the tip there. And that is just going to go right about here. Just do your best to center that. Okay. All right. Now, while we're at it, we can go ahead and glue our little googly eyes on here. I'm just going to put a little bit of glue on there and use the little center part here to make it symmetrical. If you want to make them cuter, maybe move his eyeballs out a little bit so they're not too close together. Maybe use this little valley as a guide and try to make him symmetrical because that will make him look more handsome or well i mean he's been drinking so i don't think he really cares there we go that's cute all right just push that down let that set that's cute all right now let's get his scarf on the scarf is going to go right about here you want the end of the scarf to end at his little shoulders there. And we can flip this around, get our glue on the back. Okay, and part of this is going on glitter, so just be extra patient. Just make sure that this all gets a good hold. There we go. That'll keep them nice and warm. And then the other, let me close this up before it dries out. The humidity is really low out here in Chicago. It's, it's like three degrees outside right now. Okay. Hello, Mr. Penguin. That's cute. All right. So this last little piece here, I'm going to flip this over. I'm going to throw a couple pop dots on this, actually. I'm going to give him a little dimension. There we go. One there, one there. Okay, and now that is gonna overlap this one here. And it's just gonna be a little bit off to the side here. I'm gonna just take a peek here. Eh, just like that. Okay. There we go. That's pretty good. Okay. All right, so our penguin's done. Time to break out the bottle. I've got a bottle of wine here. This one is open. Whoops. Guilty. 
Um, I took some Gooby Gone and I took off the original label just because it'll look cool. There's still the top part of it here so you can see what it is. What you wanna do is grab a dowel or something, grab this long black strip and give it a look, just train it a little bit so that, it, so that you don't crease it as you wrap it around your bottle. And this will make sure that no matter what size bottle you get, this should fit nicely. So wrap it nice and tight. Okay, and then I'm just gonna put, uh, hopefully you can see that. The table is a huge mess. Apologies to my friend Chris in Florida for still not being used to this little juice glass as I've discovered it is, I think. I thought it was a shot glass. I don't know. I will try to remember to use it because I know it's helpful. You just get in a rhythm. And, but you can teach me new tricks, it's fine. All right, so just wrap this around. Make sure that you've got it nice and aligned and then just push down and hold that in place while it sets. Okay. All right, glitter everywhere. All right, so now you've got this other piece here. It's flat on one side, and then you've got these two little tabs, or whatever you wanna call them. And that's to kind of give you a flat surface to work on. And we're gonna glue that down to the side. Okay, so all you wanna do is put a little bit of glue at the edge of each side. You can go a little deeper if you want. I think that's fine though. I'll spread that out. Okay. And then find the back of this just to make sure that this is all the way in the back, the little seam. Keep that on the back and then get that flat flush against the surface of the bottle and then just push the sides down. Just make sure that you've got them nice and lined up. Oops, that should be fine. And just squeeze. Okay, so it kind of looks like that. And just hold that in place for a few seconds. It's on there nicely. Okay, and then we're just gonna, this is gonna be pretty much at the bottom here. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna make sure that our little penguin is sitting, okay, on the bottom like that so that he's he's got a seat. Okay, so what we can go ahead and do is just apply some glue around the middle section of his body, pretty much up to just slightly past his head, okay? And then just stick that on. Make sure it's nice and centered on that square part. Okay. And the, this little part of his uh, scarf didn't glue down for me very well. So I'm gonna go in and clean that up real quick and fix it. In the meantime, while that's drying, let me see if I can find my gold cord, gold string, whatever you wanna call it. Uh, let's move him out of the way. Just make sure that he's on there nicely. Obviously, this is, this is pretty much self-explanatory. This is your little tag. Let's just tie a little knot. And then I will also show you how to put a cute little bow on this thing using my handy dandy Bodabra. Okay, there we go. Get that nice and tight. This cord tends to fray very easily, so when you cut it, don't cut it too close because it might just come apart like that. <laughs> um, I may want to tie it differently, actually. Let me tie it this way instead of the traditional knot. I'm gonna just do it this way. It'll probably stay a lot better. This cord is a little difficult to work with, but I can get it done. There we go. And just trim that. There we go. And that's gonna go around 
our little bottle. Okay, there we go, just like that. Super cute, and then let's finish it off with a bow. Pretty little bow. All right, so, well, time for the bow dabber here. Let me get this out. Okay, he's looking really cute. All right, so I figure I'm gonna make this bow slightly wider than the bottle. Okay, and the bottle's about an inch and a half, so probably go two inches on each side. Let me get my, let me get my, uh, I'll just have some wire here that I'm gonna use to hold the bow in place. I'm gonna slide it in the middle of the bow dabber here. Okay. I have a nice little tail on this guy too, this ribbon has little wire on the edges, so that allows you to kind of shape it nicely. Now, I hope that these are my fabric scissors. I don't think they are. No, I don't think they are. I gotta find those really quick. Oh, there they are. Let me grab fabric scissors. There we go, beautiful cut. We're gonna put a cute little tail on it, but before we do, um, what we're gonna do is Throw that in there like that. Okay, I'm gonna leave a little bit of a tail here. Uh, it's always good to leave it longer than you need. Okay, and then, so we said that the bottle is about an inch and a half, so I'm gonna go about two inches, maybe just a little bit more, maybe two and a half inches on each little loop. Okay, we're gonna do two loops on each side. So I've got one at about two and a half inches. I'm gonna do another one at about two and a half inches. Bring over another one at about two and a half. And it's okay if it's not mathematically perfect. It's not the end of the world. Okay, and then we have our other tail. It's gonna go down this way. I'm gonna chop that so we know exactly how much ribbon we need there. I'm gonna grab this little tool and just scrunch that down so it sits in there nicely, is easier to work with. I'm gonna grab my wire and just tie this down to kind of hold my bow in place, just like that. All right, nice little bow. You can take your tails and just bring them out so that they're forward facing and then when you actually, after you put this thing on, you're gonna want to fluff these out a little bit. Okay, I'm just doing it now just to show you. Let's trim, let's see here. Let's trim this off. Oops, I think I just cut my, my ribbon. I need a new set of pliers. These things are all chipped. There we go. Okay. And tie this around. Let me see here. Okay. That looks pretty good. All right, so let's grab a little more ribbon here. Okay, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna use another piece of ribbon to create a little center here and also use it to tie it off. Uh, I'm gonna grab about, I'm actually gonna grab about two feet of additional ribbon here. Okay, I'll show you what we're gonna do here. So here's my bow, and don't worry about how flat it looks right now, it's totally fine. We're gonna take this and try to center this as best as we can. Kind of scrunch it up a little bit right along the center there. That's gonna give us a nice clean look in the center. Okay, and then what we're gonna do is we're just gonna tie this, put this down. Uh, let me actually tie this down here in the center, just be a lot easier to work with. Okay, now before you pull it taut, just get it nice and centered and then flare it out until it looks nice, okay. 
it's kind of like that is fine. Grab your bottle. I'm going to flare these out so you can see and have a more pronounced view of each of the little bows here or the little ears or loops. Okay, so there's the two there. And then these are, where are my tails? These are my tails. These are part of the little part that I just wrapped around. So I'm just going to wrap that around the actual bottle and just tie that. Okay, and then you can have a couple extra, a couple extra tails hanging off. Okay, I used way, way, way too much there, but that's okay. All right, here at this point, we want to decide how long we want our tails. Um, I'm going to cut them about here. Okay, about halfway down the bottle maybe. All right, and then fold these in half like that. Just make sure they're right on top of each other and then just cut at an angle to give it a cute little look like that. Okay, so again, just folding that at an angle or folding it, I should say, and then cutting at an angle. And that's what gives us our cute little tail look. Okay, so there's our bow. I'm just cleaning this up right now and just flaring it out a little bit and making the little loops look more impressive. Get my tails in place. Okay, and then these guys here, you want to kind of leave that, leave a little bit of slack there. Okay, but obviously you want to make these equidistant. Same length, I should say. And then you can either leave that how it is, or just like we did with the front, we can fold this and oops, where's my fabric scissors? And just give that a little cute tail too. So it's almost like a an extension of the uh, the bow itself. Okay, and just cut at an angle. There we go. All right, you can flare one of these one of these up. Bring one of these down. And again, just make sure you fluff up the little loops just to kind of make it more full, more pronounced. Okay, and the final touch here, just put our little penguin on here, get that nice and centered, and there you go.